significance of Hackett going to Denver as far as Rodgers' future is concerned? Well, first and foremost, Denver gets the head coach it wants, and it's hiring Nathaniel Hackett because it believes that he's the right coach to lead this organization forward. And so now everybody, of course, is going to make that connection. Well, you're hiring Aaron Rodgers' offensive coordinator. What does this mean? Well, we're going to find out what it means, right, with Aaron Rodgers. Let's not get too ahead of ourselves right now, even though everybody else will. It's sort of like Sean Payton in Dallas. We can't help ourselves. we got to jump ahead to that. The fact of the matter is the Broncos wanted to hire Hackett because he was going to go talk with the Jaguars today. And before he could go talk to the Jaguars today and potentially land an offer there, Denver stepped in last night to prevent him from making that trip to hire him as the head coach. Now that he's the head coach, everybody else can begin with the speculation, and that's where I'll hand it off to you, Greeny, and you can have fun with everybody on this topic. That's correct. No one enjoys that more than I do. <laughs> Lewis, let me let, let you sort of pick it up from there a little bit. The point was made here by Damian Woody, and it's a real point, that if you look at the balance of power in the NFL right now, the, N the AFC is loaded with great young quarterbacks. The NFC clearly not as much. The two best quarterbacks in that conference are Tom Brady, who will be 45 years old next year, and Rodgers himself. So the question is, would you, would you expect that Aaron Rodgers factors that, trying to avoid that, if you will, into his thinking as he makes his decision? No, I don't think he'll factor that at all. As a matter of fact, I would just say this. I would say if you're George Payton, the general manager out there, knowing that this football team is about to be sold, knowing that you're going to be you know, under the direction of new ownership here very soon potentially, and knowing that you're in a division that you do have Justin Herbert, that you do have Patrick Mahomes, and if you really want to get into the speculation game, that there could be a situation where, you know, who knows, Russell Wilson winds up being in Las Vegas, although I'm a Derek Carr guy and I love Derek Carr, then you need to make sure that you have a signal caller that can take this collection of offensive talent that you have to another level along with the championship caliber defense and that you are definitely in the mix as far as being a AFC West uh, conference, I mean, AFC West divisional champions and AFC title contenders overall because new ownership is going to come in there and go, okay, look, what do we got? What do we got going on here? And so you have to all, you have to be thinking short term and long term because that's really what your job is as a general manager mm -hmm. anyway. So if you're Aaron Rodgers, look, uh, you know, getting back to your original question, look, I don't care about competing against the very best. That's what the very best do. They compete against everyone else. And I think this is just a situation where he has a young football team that right now is on the ascent, on the ascension. And he has a general manager who went out and got a coach that he believes in and that he loves. I just think it's a natural, natural fit if they can pull it off. I understand the fit, but Bart, let me come back at you because you got very exercised by the idea that he would be shy away. He doesn't have to be scared, but here's what I tell my kids all the time. Mm -hmm. Life is hard all unto itself. Don't make it harder than it needs to be. If you have the option of being in a place where it, the path is just, it would appear much easier than it would be by changing and going over to the AFC, it's just smart not to go and put yourself in the, in the, you know, the lion's mouth, if you will. Does that not make sense to you? Greeny, I'm a big fan of the movie Troy. Yes. It's a, it's a moment when um, Brad Pitt goes there and the kid says, oh, it's a giant waiting for you. I wouldn't want to fight him. And you know what he said to the what? kid? What did he say? He said, that's why nobody ever remember your name. <laughs> listen, if you want to be great, you have to beat the best. And listen, there's no way that I'm going to let allow somebody else dictate the terms of where I want to go. Listen, you know what happens when you become an older quarterback? You get tired of carrying all these bums on your back. That's what Tom Brady did. He got tired of being in New England and carrying them bums on his back. So what did he do? He went and stacked the deck. He went and got two of everything in Tampa Bay. And if you take a quarterback with the skill level of uh, Aaron Rodgers and you give him that type of weaponry, he will show us a masterpiece that we've never seen. Listen, you can win all the divisional titles you want in that horrible division that he was in. Where did it get him? It got him sent home packing early. Listen, you're going to have to go through these guys anyway. So if I'm going to go through those guys, I'd rather beat him in a division where they're going to feed off of each other. Listen, I'm not running from nobody. This dude is the baddest man on the planet. You know what type of ego this man got? You mean to tell me he's afraid of uh, Stretty Betty with the discount double check price? Come on, man. You're killing me. <laughs> what? Go ahead. That's absurd. <laughs> go ahead. D, D Wood, what is your reaction to that? Well, listen, man. You know, Bart, get, you know, Bart goes on this diatribe about the. Don't be using Troy, the college words. Bart, about Troy, you know, Troy and yeah. all this. You know what my mindset is? Yeah. We're Work smarter, not harder. Work smarter, not harder. Mm -hmm. Because like a true yeah, it works smarter, not harder. I'm not gonna sit here and thump my head against all these young guns, particularly in my own division, when I can at the end of the day, again, I'm gonna say this again. 
There's levels to this as far as legacy. If that's what, it, at the end of the day, if that's what we're talking about, what's the easiest path to the Super Bowl? Is it through the AFC? Is it through the AFC West? Dealing with Josh Allen, Lamar Jackson, Joe right. Burrow, all those guys? Come on, man. Like, like work, work smarter, not harder. Quick final word. Can I ask Damon Woody a, a, a problem? Quick. Where did, where did being in a weak division ever get Aaron Rodgers in the last 11 years? Where did it get him? Where did it get him? Well, that speaks to Aaron Rodgers. No, where did it get him? That speaks to Aaron Rodgers. Because all he had was the Bonte That speaks to Aaron Rodgers. That speaks to him. Damon, if you're scared, that, that, scared. That, that speaks to Aaron Rodgers. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.